Hello, today I have my grandfather's sprinkler system I installed a while back. I'm gonna start that up. Just punch some grass right there. This one. There's the, one of the R50s. Must have a lot of pressure this morning. There's one. Right there, look this way. Here's another one. I also changed the notches down to 1.5 on all of them. Except for this extra one I have it down here. And there's another R50. Um, here's the PDJ. Fix him up. At least get the cap off of him. To tighten the screw down. There we go. That should help us very better. Right there, what I do is just do it with the cap. Great. Oh, here it is. Found it. I'm going to stick that on there again. There we go. See how the second station should be turned on here soon. See, these are already had quite a few of the watermarks on the risers. Can't please to turn off. Yeah, this has been working amazing so far. Keeping this lawn nice and green. Our sprinklers are going over to the house. Come on, it's definitely been two minutes by now. Yeah, there we go. There's that one. And there's this one out here. Once it kicks on. There's some honeybees on this one. Check that out. There's some honeybees. The other thing is just a fly, it looks like. Yeah, it's just a fly. There it goes. The yeah, honeybees like this sprinkler. There it goes. There's that one that just covers that corner. And this one I changed down to 1.5 so the station gets better pressure. Um, this one seems like leak somewhere, so I'll have to check that out. That's why it's draining down along the sidewalk there. And there's this one right here. So I'm supposed to scratch on steel. They were much smoother than that other ones, though. Yep. Yeah, these work really nice for being 30 or less years old. So, yep. And you see how I planted some grass there, too. So, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.